Hello and welcome to Nixie's Notebooks. I am your host and today is Quick Tip Monday. I'm just going to do a quick series um, of, not a quick series, I'm just going to do a series of videos every Monday or every other Monday where I talk about quick tips that I picked up while I've been crafting. Some of them are going to be paper, some of them might be some other crafts I've, I've done over the years, just stuff that I'm like, I wish someone had told me about that type of stuff. So today we're going to talk about crafting. Uh, I'm not going to talk about crafting. Well, we are going to talk about crafting, but we're going to talk about my Fisker's cutter. <laughs> so this tool, I've had this actually for uh, about 10 years now. Um, I believe it's about 10 years. If, if not, it's either over or under. So in by like a year or two. So the reason why I like this Fisker's one is because the blade is removable. Very easy to remove the blade. As I say that, I can't do it. Usually just kind of pops up. There we go. And then you just slide it out. As you can see, the blade is um, right there. It's right there. Probably shouldn't touch it, but there we go. And um, these pointers actually um, are going to show you where the line's going to be when you. No. Nope. I lied. This right here is going to show you where the cutting line is going to be right here. So this is what you want to line up, whatever. If you have a line that you need to cut down, this is what you want to line it up with. I don't know what these two pointers are for. I'm sure there's a reason. Someone knows what it is. You can put it in the comments below. And these actually snap really easily right back in place. I actually have an Amazon subscription for them. They're great. So when you're using these type of cutters, um, I can't talk about all of them but when you use these type of cutters these are made in a factory they aren't precision precision made they're not precision tools they're not what you would find you know in NASA or anything like that so measurements might be off I'm just gonna throw that out there I'm not saying that this is not perfect actually no it's not and um, but that's it it's not perfect so when you're cutting, you're going to want to move your paper up to one of these bumpers. You know, there's usually two on, on most of these, there's usually two, one on each side. When you're cutting your paper, you're going to want to use the same bumper for that one piece of paper. You can always rotate back and forth between the two bumpers, but for a single piece of paper, use the same bumper. The reasoning why is these might not be totally straight and flush with each other and the cutter. So if you cut here and then you cut over here and then you cut over here and then you cut over here your lines might be slightly off um, and it might like if you're trying to make a square piece of paper or a rectangular piece of paper it might not come out looking that way i can heavily suggest that you don't i mean you can if you want but i'm gonna heavily suggest you don't use these there's a couple reasons why you don't want to use this in the middle of cutting lines because let me pull this up again so as you can see, these are stickers right here. Um, can't see it really well there. Let's do this side right here. You can see right there, that's a, there's a gap there. Let's see, can I get the light? There we go. I don't know if I hope you guys can see that. So this sticker is placed on by a human, I'm assuming, or a machine. But as you can tell, it wasn't placed solidly in the middle of this. There's a gap here. There's no gap here. If you look here, now those look pretty lined up, they look pretty flush, but do we know that it's flush all the way down? Maybe, maybe not. We don't know. Looks pretty good actually. Well, no, mm, not really. Plus we've got all these circly things, which doesn't help when you're trying to measure stuff. I'm sure there's a reason for them. I haven't figured it out yet, but at any rate, the when you want to cut, so if you cutting in the middle, I'm going to really, like I said, I'm going to heavily suggest against it because like I said, these might not be square with this or might not be flush. So you might end up with a, like a slanted line and it won't be a right angle when you cut that. This is only for like obviously cutting squares and rectangles or lines on your paper. Plus, as you can see how easily it can move, you can, you can move the paper and you're, you're trying to do two things at once holding the paper down and you're trying to move this. So there's a greater chance that you could move the paper slightly or when you're pulling this down, move the paper slightly or when you're trying to pull this across, you might move the paper slightly. So it's just not as fine. And I, I would really just suggest not doing that. Use the bumpers, it, they're, they're perfectly okay. 
You always want to pull towards the paper and the bumper side like that. I did that really slow. And the reasoning why is if you do it this way, it may, um, it didn't really do it. It's not going to probably do it because I'm on film, but it may um, pull the paper this way a little bit. So you may end up with a slanted line where you didn't want one. So when you are cutting um, a line off, if, if you have to use this when you're cutting a line, so just draw a quick line here. Oops, I hit the thing Get this way. So say you have this line here and it might be, it's just kind of in the middle of the paper. You're not actually trying to cut a square. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put this and I don't know if you can see, probably not very well, but I lined it up with the line on the board. So right in here is where, this is where the cutter comes, and then that right in that groove is where the cutter is. So you want to line up both sides with that. And you're going to want to put it down, and you're going to put this down, and you're going to want to check it again. And that is a pain in the butt, but let's see here. So you want to check it again. And when you bring the cutter up, what you can see, lift it up again. I don't know if you can see that. So I don't know if you can see my line in there in the cutter. It's not quite, eh, it's pretty close, pretty close. So, but you want to see, you want to see that line going into that little divot right there. Hold it down. Mind you, I haven't lined it up with anything here. I would really, again, suggest against it. And there you go. And here are the two pieces of paper. So that's it. So like I said, when you're cutting, you want to make sure you, you use the bumpers if you're going to try to make a square or whatever. When you do try to cut a square, like say you just want to, you want to use this page pretty much, but you want to just make sure all the, the lines are even, you're going to start at one edge or you're going to cut yourself a straight line on, on an edge and then you're going to rotate it so that the cutted edge is up against the, the board. Book pages, book pages are kind of crazy because sometimes they're not printed straight. Actually, a lot of times they're not printed straight and you just don't realize it because you're just reading the book. But again, human error, machines, blah, blah, blah. So you always want to rotate the cut, the edge that you cut to this when you're doing, when you're cutting. I hope that made sense. So I started off here. I cut this. I rotated it here. I cut this line. I rotated it here. I cut this line and then I rotated it here and then I cut that line. So as you can see, that is the easiest and best way to to kind of make sure all your lines are going to be square. And this is actually probably pretty square. I'm going to show you my dirty desktop. This is awful. Glue and paint does not come off these things. I found out the hard way. So, yeah, you can see. So, maybe that line's a little off. Eh, maybe not. So, and you want to always pull towards yourself. You want to make sure you're doing this on a flat surface, not in your lap. And um, the other thing too is, uh, you know, watch out when you're cutting in the center. Try not to use these as guides because like I said, I don't really think they line up. I've said that about a hundred times now in this video and you're probably like, yeah, get over it. I am over it now. We won't talk about that ever again. And that's it. So thank you. Like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.